Hello, everybody, and welcome to part 38. My goodness, we are getting up there in episodes. Longest running series on the Mark Copy Sue Network. Possibly the longest ever. Who knows what will happen in the future. Man, I always open up to page six and I have to censor that little section just because, uh, the, <laughs> you know, you know what's on there. Anyway, let's get right into things. I think... We're hanging out with Sayori today after she tried to wreck our relationship with Yuri. Because, you know, she she wants some of the, the main character, but she can't have it. That's, that's for Yuri and Yuri alone. Another day. Another weekend. I yawn and scratch my bu I yawn and stretch. I was going to say scratch my, my nutsacky. Glancing over to the clock. 10.21 a.m. A little on the late side. Nowadays, at least. And it's a day I'll sp it's a day I'll be spending with Sayori. My god. It really feels like another lifetime ago that we used to hang out together. If I'm totally honest, I'm a little nervous. What if it's awkward? What if she resents me for ditching her? No, don't be silly, Markopi. Sayori is still my friend, and she isn't like that. You're acting like an idiot. With a sigh, I start my morning routine wondering, wondering how the rest of the day will go. It's now a little past noon, and I'm just mindlessly passing time. Sayori and I didn't actually make any concrete plans, so we're going to have to improvise a little. From what I remember, she's not really much of a morning person, so I decided to give her a bit of time. I think I've waited long enough, though, so I decided to pull out my phone and shoot her a text. All right, Mark Hoppy, uh, again for you Spotify and Apple Music listeners, viewers, Mark Hoppy text, Hey, Sayori, feel free to come over if you want. To which Sayori responds, Hey, Mark Hoppy, smiley face. Good timing, ihi, I've just finished getting ready. I'll make my way over now. Little uh, kawaii, cute little face there. I don't know how to describe that in, in any English words. Okay, Markapi responds, awesome, see you soon, smiley face. But instead of using a parentheses, it's a, a C with the with with the mouth, so it's it's kind of cute. I put my phone away. In hindsight, I really should have thought of something for us to do. Yeah, you never just want to be alone in your in your home with a, a female. Nothing good can come of that. I wouldn't know, though, but I, I could only imagine. And just like that, Sayori is over. Just the two of us. I know I said it yesterday, but wow, do I feel so nostalgic coming here again. He... Huh, yeah. She looks around. I didn't really get a chance to focus on it because we were all studying, but... Nothing has really changed, has it? Ha, huh, you've still got that embarrassing baby photo over there. She points towards a rather unflattering shot of me, still clad in a diaper and looking rather chubby. Glad to see you remembered it. I laugh under my breath. So, what are we doing today, Markapi? Well, this was your idea, right? I, uh, kind of thought you'd had something planned. Oh, he... Well, I kind of thought the same for... I kind of thought the same, but for you... I furrow my brow. What kind of logic is that? There's not a whole lot to do here, to be honest. Whenever Yuri comes over, we typically just read and cuddle. <laughs> ah, I see. Her expression drops for the tiniest of moments. She wants some of that Markapi cuddle, doesn't she? That sounds really cute. But obviously we can't really do that, so... There's an awkward pause. For God's sake, Markapi, say something. She's your childhood friend. Why don't we go to the park? The one we used to go to as kids? Ooh, that's a great idea. I feel kind of silly for not bringing it up myself. Well, you always were a bit slow, weren't you? <laughs> we just call Sayori retarded? In a polite way, in a politically correct way? That is, that is not epic. She's our childhood friend. I wink playfully and nudge her. Hey! At least I wasn't a massive chicken around Halloween. She stands triumphantly. 
Okay, okay. Well played. We share a laugh and head for the door. It feels wonderful. If not a little foreign. To tease each other again. It makes me feel like nothing really changed between us. This is a nice little backdrop we got here. With spring drawing even closer, the frosty bite of winter feels less and less prevalent. It's still too cold for a t-shirt, but with a hoodie on, the temperature is pleasant. Sayori and I take a seat on a park bench and look up at the clouds. So, tell me Sayori, what's new in your life? I try to stay as nonchalant as possible, attempting to fight the guilt seeping into my voice. She giggles quietly. Ha, uh, you know, not much has changed. Same old, same old. It's a little hard to discern her expression fully, as her eyes are firmly trained on the sky above, but I'm fairly certain I'm detecting some sadness. I don't want to jump right in with questions, though, so I opt for a more casual angle, hoping she'll talk more about herself if she feels comfortable. Honestly, I know that feeling too. Well, sort of. It's kind of hard to explain. On one hand, joining the literature club last summer, meeting everyone, it goes without saying that that's had a big impact on my life. But at the same time, I feel like nothing's really changed. Maybe it's because despite new faces and stuff, I'm still in the same environment? Still waking up every morning for school, all that stuff. If that makes any sense. A smile works its way onto her face. You're sounding more and more like Yuri by the day. I don't think you ever used to be this reflective and analytical. You're like the third person to tell me that. He, <laughs> sorry. It must be kind of annoying, right? Not really. <laughs> it's more eye-opening, if anything. You know, how you can adopt your partner's traits? Well, I've never been in a relationship before. So I can only imagine. She looks sadly up at the sky. Hey, Sayori. I'm sure there's someone out there for you. Just not us. You're really likable, you know. Oh, dude, that's, that's, uh, I kind of feel bad. She doesn't look convinced, so I press on. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, or allowed to, to give so many compliments to a female friend, but... You're really sweet, and I know some guy out there is going to really value how kind and upbeat you are. It's so rare that you meet someone as selfless as you are. One day someone is going to cherish that. Just not us. I know I've always enjoyed being able to call you my friend. My childhood was amazing, and a huge reason for that, because of you. She slowly turns to face me. Thank you, Markapi. That really means a lot to me. And I really am sorry, Sayori. All oh, the music slows down. You know what that means? Sadness is upon us. Drink break imminent. Delicious. She opens her mouth, but I rush onwards, wanting to get my words out before I reconsider. I know it might be more natural for me to spend more time with Yuri, but that doesn't mean I should have done so at your expense. I feel really bad, you know? Like I've just thrown away the history we have. That was never my intention. Please remember that. Markapi, you're so silly. I didn't ever think that you threw me away. It's completely normal for you to spend time with your girlfriend. Besides, you make Yuri happy. And by the looks of it, she makes you feel the same way too, right? I nod. That's what I value the most. Other people's happiness. But I want you to be happy as well. She laughs and waves off my concern. You honestly don't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly happy the way I am. Hmm. Press X to doubt. You're still in my life, you know. I see you every day in school, and we get to talk there. Plus, for things like Halloween, Christmas, study sessions, we all get to hang out, right? So please, don't feel bad, okay? I'm just grateful we're talking again. Because I'll be honest, I missed you, Markapi. I missed you too, Sayori. 
<laughs> that was kind of a jump scare that kind of kind of gave me the willies and not the good kind. She embraces me in a hug. It feels a little strange. Being so heartfelt with a girl who isn't Yuri. But it's a nice feeling all the same. Despite the initial novelty of the hug, it very quickly feels very familiar. It's, if not, a little nostalgic. Memories come flooding through my mind. Sayuri and I biking together through a forest. Me buying her an ice cream. Us pretending like the floor was lava, hopping from chair to chair in my living room. My mom helping us reconcile after silly argument we had. We eventually break apart. There's a genuine warm smile on her face that I find myself returning without even realizing it. That's what I want to see more of. And less of the self-blame game, okay? She pouts slightly, causing me to laugh. Sayori isn't, aggr isn't assertive, and when she tries to be, it comes across as more endearing than commanding. Heard you loud and clear, soldier. Good. Now, I think it's time we did some exploring, don't you think? Lead the way, Columbus. Ooh, a little, a little forest trail here. Gee, Willikers. Well, something that never waned over the years is Sayori's fascination with exploring. Even if it's grounds we've already once traversed, she still acts like it's fabled terrain. I'm not complaining, though. Her imagination was always something I enjoyed. You know, seeing the wanderlust on your face, it reminds me of when you wanted to be an astronaut when you were younger. I still think being an astronaut would be really cool, you know? Think of the views! Seeing your home planet from the moon? You still want to be an astronaut? He, well, as fun as it would be, probably not the best idea given me and physics don't really mix well. So what do you want to do after school? I don't think I've ever talked to you about this. Uh, I haven't really given it much thought to be honest. But you'll be a third year soon. I know, I know. I don't know. I guess I'll just pick a subject I enjoy and go from there. I don't really like thinking about the future. Why not? Huh? Oh, nothing, nothing. Ooh, look where we are. She points ahead to a clearing. I recognize the place instantly. We've had many a picnic there in the past. Man, the, the forest budget for this game. Uh, amazing. Sayuri immediately makes a beeline for one of the trees. Once she reaches it, she sits down so that the trunk rests against her back. I follow suit and take a seat next to her. This is one of my favorite spots in the entire park. So many memories here. You always liked this spot, didn't you? I remember how excited you were when we first stumbled upon this place. It was like a magical forest to you. Ooh, you remember that? Of course I do. Wow, flashback? That's epic. Baby Sayori? That's epic. Wait, do I have to make her voice even- I can't, I, I don't think that's possible. God. Can I? No. Maybe? I have to try. It's the only way. Ooh! Look at this place, Marco! See, that just becomes Natsuki at that point. Man, this is a, a difficult ask. Ooh! Look at this place, Markabi! It's a magical forest! What would our voice... How, how can I do our voice as a kid? Do you think? Yeah! See that big tree over there? I bet a forest wizard, wizard lives in it. A wizard w with loads of cool spells? We're going through puberty at this point. Yep. I bet he could turn you into a frog. Blah. I don't want to be a frog. I want to be a dragon. Well, let's ask him. She runs off towards the tree and knocks on the wood when she gets there. Um, hi, Mr. Wizard Man. We heard all about your magic spells and stuff. Can you show us? Please? Aww. No, wizard? No. Hey, that's okay. We can still have lots of fun exploring, right? You said it's a magic forest, so I bet we'll find other cool stuff. Like what? Um, uh, 
like those magic horse thingies. You know, with the horn. Ooh, you mean unihorns? Yeah, that's the one. Unihorns. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, I bet they're in here somewhere. Hey, more copy! Wait up! Wait up! We have to be quick if we want to catch the unihorns, Sayori. I know, I know. But look at these mushrooms! She points to the floor. Funnily enough, there's a bunch of colorful mushrooms growing next to a tree. Sayori crouches down next to them. You know, this flashback better have a point, or if I'm just doing these voices for, for no gosh darn reason, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be an angry Markapi. Those are mushrooms, right? She pokes one and giggles. Yep, do you think they're magic mushrooms too? What? Like mushrooms that give us special powers? <laughs> those are those are uh, called psychedelics. You're you're not allowed to use those. Maybe the wizard is growing the <laughs> yeah the the wizard is growing drugs. I don't know. Mommy told me not to eat things from the floor. <laughs> Why not? Cause they're dirty and they might make you sick. And if you get sick, that that mean we can't play together. That'd really suck. Oh, we're using the word suck at such a young age? Not epic. She looks down at them with a sad expression. Can we at least take them with us? Then we can ask your mommy to wash them so we can eat them. Um, well, I think that might be okay. She bends down and plucks them from the ground, carefully putting them in her pockets. What if these mushrooms let you pick up, pick your power? Ooh, which one would you pick? Oh man, that's a tough question. Flying would be really fun. Yeah, it would. You could fly like a bird, wherever you wanted to go. It must be so fun. Whee! But invis, invis, what's the word? Where you like, see through? Invisibility. Wow, Sari, how'd you know that? It's such a big word. She beams. He, I can be smart sometimes. Anyway, that would be a really fun power to have. You could prank a lot of people. What would you pick? It'd be really nice if my power let me... If my power let me make everyone smile all the time. Okay, so that's what why the flashback's here for this sequence. Now it makes sense. Uh... Yeah, she just wants other people to be happy. And that's epic. But what about herself? What about her own feelings? You gotta look out for yourself, Sayori, okay? Okay, honey? So no one would ever be sad again. Huh? But isn't that kind of boring? I guess, he. <laughs> but I feel really good whenever I make people happy, so I think I'd choose that. Everyone is happy that way, right? I still think in this... That would be way cooler. Okay, that I'll, I'll accept that flashback. That makes sense. Water break time. <clears throat> uh, ha ha ha. I still remember the look on Mom's face when you told her you almost ate those mushrooms. I'd never seen her look so alarmed. Ha, huh, I guess it really wasn't the smartest thing to do, was it? No, not really. But... That's what makes the memory so endearing, you know? That in that innocence that can only come from childhood. I put both my hands behind my head and breathe a content sigh. Those days were a lot of fun, weren't they? Yeah, they really were. A comfortable silence falls between us. Both of us are lost in the past, reminiscing about the good times. The silence is occasionally broken when one of us decides to share. Either way, I'm enjoying my time with Sayori. Looks like it's getting late, fellas. That looks like the sun set to me. Thanks for spending time with me today, Markapi. I had a lot of fun. Oh, it's nothing. We should definitely do this more often. Although, with exams coming up, you'll probably have to wait until after they're finished. Mmm, I really don't like exam season, but at least this will give me something to look forward to after they're done. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, well, at least with our group study sessions, exam shouldn't be so bad this year, right? Yeah, you're right. I'm sure we'll all be fine. He. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you later, Markapi. She gives me a quick hug. I pop a boner, then head back inside. 
Ah, damn. I totally forgot to ask her about the Valentine's note. I don't think we should ask her about that. Uh, then again, did I really need to? It wouldn't really have achieved anything. Exactly. With high spirits, I make my way home. I'm glad I spent the day with Sayori. Plus, as Monica said, it's good to spend a little bit of time away from your partner. Looks like I'm learning. <laughs> Look at that. Well, uh, depending on how the day starts, we might progress a little bit farther. Because... I, I don't know when this is going to be over. I, I feel... Like, there, there's still some... There's got to be a little more juice left in this, in this ribeye. In this sirloin strip, if you will. Just a, a tiny bit more juice left. And we're, gonna, we're just going to juice it all out. It's the moment of truth. The first day of final season. Silence fills the air as we all anxiously watch Sakurai pass out the history exams. Here's to hoping that I don't blank out when I take it. But given the extra studying I did this time with the club, I'm thinking that I should do pretty well. Well, I'm not going to jinx myself and expect to ace it. I'm startled out of my revere when a sheaf of paper drops onto my desk. Sakurai gives me a small smile as he passes by. At least he's rooting for me. Looking down at the exam, the words seem to swim before my eyes. But within a few seconds, they snap back into focus as I clear my mind. I know this. Picking up my pen, I join my classmates in furiously scribbling down my answers. So, what do you think of your exams? Students rush around Yuri and me, eagerly escaping school to rush home. Some are probably going to do last minute cramming, while others are likely just seeking a respite from anything related to school. Either way, everyone around us seems to be chatting about the exams. I feel like they were generally fair. There wasn't any unexpected material in them at least. So in other words, you aced them. Well, I don't know about that. I think I did alright. Ha, huh, you totally aced them. She smiles gently, not denying the fact that she's a top student. What did you think of the exams then? Eh, I probably did well in the history one at least. And I hope I did well in the others. If how you did during our study session is indicative of how well you actually know the material, I'm sure you did fine. Yeah. A gaggle of girls passes by. Isn't, is, isn't that like a, a gaggle of geese? Isn't, isn't that a thing? Why, why is it being assigned to girls? Chatting about the approaching summer break. It's strange not needing to head to club today. Yeah, but it'd be a bit much if students were expected to keep up with all their extracurriculars during exam seasons. True. I don't even think Monica would... would... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why... I, I added 20 extra W's to that. I don't even think Monica would want to do that. Ha, huh. Monica, the perfect teacher's pet. Not wanting to do school stuff? That's heresy. He, knowing her, she's likely studying as we speak. Speaking of studying, do you actually want to come over today to study together? Um, sure. It'd be nice to study with someone and break the monotony at least. Not to mention, we'd get to spend some quality time together. <laughs> I know Jury in the side, making her blush. Hmm, actually, should we invite the others too and make it an official study session? Yuri stops in her tracks. You want to invite the others? I think Yuri wants to be alone with us, fellas. Um, we don't have to if you don't want to. S sorry it's just that I thought it would be more of a private thing. No worries, you probably just won't stay on task as much, heh. <laughs> I don't know, we've stayed focused on things before. Yeah, I'm just joking. I don't know why, but we're so awkward all of a sudden. Erm, um, you're not upset or anything, are you? Why would I be? You just seem kind of off now, is all. Sorry, I suppose I'm a bit tired from the exams. I don't think she liked us hanging out with Sayori. I think that might be a, an issue here, if I had to guess. You could say that I have a bit of a shorter fuse right now, so to speak. Uh, although, of course, that's no excuse for my rudeness. It's alright, Yuri. That makes sense. 
How's about we brew up a nice mug of hot tea for you when we get to my place and relax a little before we cram? Oh, dude, we get to cram you. Let's go. That does sound good. You bet it does. I wonder if we're gonna get any more scenes like we got in the past. If so, uh, I, I would definitely be on board for that, 100%. And so the writers completely wasted that one character's powers and made him the king for basically no reason. Needless to say, the show's finale was probably one of the worst disappointments in television history. Ah, uh, you're quite passionate about this, aren't you? Are you sure you're not just exaggerating? It was going on for nearly a decade. Of course all the fans are going to be passionate about something they've been invested in for so long. Um, is that like a reference to Game of Thrones? I've never seen it, but I'm guessing uh, someone gets made king in the end. Because I heard season 8, the, the series finale was just ass. So I'm guessing that's what was in reference to, if I had to take a guess. Seriously though, if you watch it you'll get what I mean. Well, you did just spoil the whole thing for me though. You told me that I could. Plus you read the books. You're gonna know a lot of the major plot points anyway. Hee <laughs> hee, I know, I'm just teasing you. I do kind of want to start watching the show now though. You should, if only for the cinematography and acting. Look, we're here already. Huh? That was a surprisingly short walk. Time flies when you complain about things. Yuri stands patiently as I fumble to find my house keys in my bag. Maybe I can even start watching the first episode while we have tea. <laughs> if you do that, I guarantee you'll finish the first season today. I finally find my keys and unlock the front door. I'm home. Man, I still haven't stopped announcing my arrival home. Old habits die hard, I guess. Oh, <gasps> Who is this? Could this be our mom? Who says welcome back? We won't know until the next episode because that's where we're stopping it, fellas. This just makes the most sense, you know, to, to leave on the cliffhanger ending. So, thank you for watching. Go ahead, do me four favors. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, help me find a girlfriend. And bye bye